airlines around the world, and especially in the United States, have been successful to increase their revenue over the last decades by collecting billions of additional dollars from their customers for extra services that used to be included in their fare prices. In 2019, before the pandemic prices, airlines turned almost 110 billion US dollars, or $23.91 per passenger, into cash revenue from the sale of ancillaries such as checked luggage, seat selection, extra frequent flyer mile points, or access to priority lanes or airline lounges. It is needless to say that this amount collapsed to under 60 billion US dollars in 2020 and partially recovered only to 65.8 billion dollars or $27.60 per passenger in 2021. Historically, these ancillary services were included in the price of a ticket. But with the race of low-cost carriers, travel services a la carte, rather than a bundled or all-in traditional fare, were introduced by airlines. Airlines presented their newly designed fare families or branded fares, including stripped-down, seat-only basic economy fares and various higher-priced branded fares that include combinations of additional services. Whilst price-sensitive travelers would select the lowest-priced basic fare offer and pay only for services that they actually need, even passengers traveling in higher fare families would select additional ancillary services. Although global revenue went down during the crisis by 55%, and still so many airlines survived, the share of ancillary revenue constantly grew. In 2019, airlines revenue services represented 12.2% of airlines' global revenue. In 2021, the share was 14.4%. In 2020, four of 75 airlines reviewed by IdeaWorks passed the threshold of 50% ancillary revenue, meaning that the sale of ancillaries was their primary source of income. So, what are the major categories of ancillary products that help airlines to further push their income? Some examples are airlines sell fare or product bundles, meaning flight and certain services are combined and offer for one price. Services in the bundle can be check baggage, early boarding or extra leg room seating. A la carte features, also called unbundled fares and services. These represent the items on the ancillary revenue menu and consist of the amenities consumers can add to their air travel experience. Typical activities can be onboard sales of food and beverages, checking of baggage and excess baggage, assigned seats or better seats such as exit rows, call center support for reservations, fees charged for purchases made with credit or debit card, priority check-in and screening, early boarding, onboard entertainment systems, and wireless internet access. Then there are commission-based products. Airlines can earn ancillary revenue by selling hotel accommodations, car rentals, and travel insurance. This usually happens at online touchpoints, but it can include the sale of duty-free on board the aircraft as well. Frequent flyer programs, we just talked about that. Many airlines sell miles or points to program partners such as hotel chains and car rental companies, co-branded credit cards, online malls, retailers and communication services, or directly to program members. Finally, advertising sold by the airline in in-flight magazines, in or on aircraft, loading bridges, gate areas, and airport lounges, and fee-based placements of consumer products and samples. Globally, in 2020, 63% of ancillary revenue is generated by a la carte products. The four ancillary champions mentioned before make over 90% of their ancillary revenue with a la carte features. The remaining 37% is courtesy of revenue produced by frequent flyer programs and the commission paid by travel related to companies from car rental, hotel, and travel insurance bookings. Whilst low-cost carriers have a rather conservative growth 
in ancillary revenue, traditionally, full-service network carriers had a significant increase of ancillary revenue in the last five years. <laughs>